What's going on y'all? Just G and I'm back with another build for you guys. So if y'all saw my last video, it was the Mandalorian build. This week, I have Octane Wild Speed Helmet from Apex Legends. You might know him from this. And you might have seen this. Got another one. Crap. So I'm here today to show y'all how I build his helmet. Now just like I'll start off every build, we're gonna start off with the files. Okay, real quick. I got my file from Vec3D over on Instagram. He has amazing files. If you haven't heard of him yet, go give him a follow and check him out. That's where I got the file into Kira. I have to rotate it a little bit on his back so I don't have so much support that I have to generate. Now it won't fit on a bill plate, so I had to rotate it around, rotate it about 45 degrees so it can fit on the bill plate. If you want to, Pause it at any port and save my, my settings. Go ahead and do so. And now we're moving to printing. What's going on y'all voiceover G here. So I did a deep dive video on how I made my LED goggles wirelessly using magnets. If y'all want to check that out, I'll leave a tag at the top. All right, y'all. So I just finished priming my helmet and I got the electronics done. So when you put on the goggles, they actually glow. So now that my print is primed, sand it down. It looks smooth. It looks good. I'm ready to hit it with some paint. So first thing I'm gonna do is hit it with some black and then some white so I can lay the yellow on top of the white. This is gonna be a long process. I gave myself plenty of time to get it done so I can take my time, do it right the first time so I don't have to do it again. All right, y'all, quick update. So it's the next day and I went ahead and let my helmet dry from the black paint I used. I hit it with a gloss coat so I can put some graphite powder on top of the ears and all the places where it's gonna need to be like chromish, graphite-ish looking. I'm going to now tape off the helmet, hit it with some white, then some yellow, and then I'm gonna hit all the spots that I need to hit it with, with some matte, some matte clear coat. It's gonna be a tough day today, it's gonna be quick, but we're gonna get it done. I'll see y'all in a bit, peace. All right, y'all, I am so glad I'm done with this. This was two weeks later and I finally finished my Octane helmet. Everything came out great. I need, a, I need to work on my painting a little bit because I have a little bit of issues. First issue I have is using graphite powder. Once I use graphite powder, it gets very messy, but I was able to make it look damage worn by using the graphite powder, so it looks really good that way. It glows. So I was able to get it to glow wirelessly. So if I take off the goggles, they turn off. As soon as I put the goggles back on, they start glowing again. So I got that to work. It works really good and it looks so good on camera. A few other things that I noticed is they're magnetized. The back is magnetized with a little latch in the back. So it clicks onto your helmet and it just attaches. Man, this worked really good. I'm so excited about this. If y'all like my videos, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. That way you can see my next video that's coming up next. If y'all wanna see me build the Bangalore heirloom, which also lights and glows, I'm gonna leave that probably over here so y'all can check out that video. Also, if there's anything y'all wanna see, please let me know down in the comments. I love to, to hear what y'all think. Thank y'all so much for tuning into my video. As always, y'all have a great rest of your day. God bless y'all. Peace out.